Nassau County getting hit hard by snow titles, totals rather, and some coastal flooding on the South Shore. Nassau County Executive Laura Kern joins us now by phone with an update. Laura, thanks so much for taking some time to talk to us this morning. Hi, good morning. Yeah, so I'm listening to your report and I'm seeing this precipitation continue to fall. And one thing that's very concerning is we've had about 160 car accidents. Um, none too serious, thank goodness, but it just shows how dangerous the roads are right now. All in all, with the reports that you've been getting back from uh, your state police, your local police and whatnot, have people done a good job of heeding the warnings and staying off the roads? I know you said you did have a number of accidents, but overall, big picture? Yeah, by and large, people did a great job of just hunkering down, and so our crews who are doing a fantastic job can get out there. And this is the kind of relentless storm that they keep having to attack and attack and attack. It's not over. And what are you expecting for the morning commute? We're expecting sloppiness and slipperiness. Uh, we still need to get out there with our plows and get rid of some of the snow. Um, and, you know, the, pre the precipitation's coming and the temperatures are freezing and hovering around freezing for most of the day. So it makes for a very messy commute. And, you know, if people can stay home, I know everyone's sick of hearing it, but we would love it if you could do that. And no rest for the weary. I don't know if you heard Elise mentioned before, but more snow potentially headed our way for Sunday. That's right. Well, the only good news there is we didn't have much snow last year, so we've got a lot of salt in our salt dome. So we're ready. We're ready for whatever. <laughs> okay, so we're lying. Lying. <laughs> so we're Executive Laura Kern, thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you.